Do you remember studying the California gold rush in your history class? You know, the 49ers, Sutter's Mill? Well, that gold fever still exists today. There are people out there daily doing backbreaking work, hoping to strike it rich. I started about 15 years ago. We were just on a camping trip and just happened to walk through a creek that had a lot of the black sand in it. Jack Tucker didn't know it then, but he was one apple pie away from catching gold fever. My dad told me the, the saying, wherever you find gold, you'll find black sand, but wherever you find black sand, you may not find gold. I thought, gold, wow, I'd like some gold. I went up to look for a prospecting store, somewhere, a place I could find a gold pan, no gold pan to be found. Of course, it was Easter weekend. So I bought a pie just so I could get the tin from the pie, and that was actually my first gold pan. Today, Jack is part of the Miners Creek Prospecting Club in Wickenburg. We have approximately close to 300 members. A lot of them are winter visitors. We go out as a group and prospect and uh, share the gold. We come out here for the fun, the exercise, the camaraderie. If you find gold, that, that's nice. We all get a little bit of gold, but you ain't gonna get rich. There are all kinds of ways to look for gold, some more sophisticated than others. Miner's Creek has a dry washer, which basically uses airflow to separate the gold from the dirt. In fact, gold is actually 19.3 times heavier than water. Well, the riffles hold the gold, and the dirt comes down onto the top of this. Gold being the heaviest, it gets trapped behind each one. It gets a little drier as it goes over each riffle all the way to the end. The fan in here is blowing the air from the leaf blower. It blows all the light stuff out that you don't want. That's all this stuff. Comes out, blows out, and keeps the gold in. That's gold. Oh, yeah. There's a nice little flake right there. And it's always good when you get gold. See a little smile on the pan. <laughs> <laughs> so if we do that about, uh, 50 times. <laughs> <laughs> you might have enough to go buy yourself a loaf of bread, huh? <laughs> Arizona Highways Television is brought to you by Arizona Public Service and the Arizona Office of Tourism.